Founded all the way back in 1932, Lego has become a household name for kids' toys, having sold billions of bricks. But with that popularity, there are bound to be some Legos that stand out from the rest. Here are some of the most expensive Lego pieces of all time. Starting off, we're going to look at a minifigure that's so rare, people actually try to sell replicas of it. The Mr. Gold figures are worth about $9,000 today, but some professionally graded and authenticated figures can go for upwards of $30,000. What makes this figure so rare is the fact that there were only 5,000 ever made. And in addition to that, you had to get one out of sheer luck. The only way you could get one of these minifigures was by buying a Series 10 collectible pack, and due to their extreme rarity, Mr. Gold figures can command extremely high prices. Mr. Gold features a golden body, top hat, cane, and monocle, totaling to only four pieces. The minifig is extremely sought after by collectors and enthusiasts, and due to this demand for the figure, there are a massive number of fakes on the market. A Lego store in Idaho says that about once a month, they will have someone come into their store to get a Mr. Gold authenticated, only for it to turn out to be fake. But obviously, if you bought one of these rare collectibles for thousands under the market price, you could assume that it was a fake. Who knew Lego? Legos could be such a big deal. Next up, we have something for all the Star Wars fans. The Ultimate Collector's Edition Millennium Falcon Set. Having been designed to cater to the passionate Star Wars fans and Lego enthusiasts, it's true that this collectible set may not be within everyone's budget. However, for most, its sheer awesomeness makes it worth the whopping $2,000. The Star Wars Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon is a highly sought after and iconic Star Wars collectible. The set was first released in 2007 and has over 5,000 pieces in total. The set is known for its high piece count Count, intricate details and its massive size, making it one of the largest and most difficult LEGO sets ever created, attracting the attention of LEGO fanatics and Star Wars fans alike. Over the years, LEGO has released several different iterations of the Millennium Falcon, and while all these sets capture the spirit of the ship, the Ultimate Collector's version remains a standout due to its size and sheer complexity. In the end, it really is the ultimate display of a Star Wars icon, and for many collectors, it's considered the holy grail of LEGO Star Wars sets. Staying on the theme of pop culture classics, we've got more extremely rare minifigures that you could only get by attending the San Diego Comic-Con in 2013. Every year at the San Diego Comic-Con, LEGO builds a massive exhibit, and even if you made the trip to the event back in 2013, you had to be lucky enough to have your name drawn in a raffle at the LEGO booth in order to get one of these minifigures. There were four different rare minifigures given away in these raffles, being Green Arrow, Black Suit Superman, Spider-Woman, and Spider-Man. Out of the four figures, Spider-Man and Spider-Woman are the rarest, with only about 350 of each of these minifigures ever being distributed. Because of this, their rarity on the market is through the roof. Today, if you want to add a 2013 Comic-Con Spider-Man to your collection, you need to be prepared to part with a large amount of cash, around $15,000. Spider-Woman isn't that far behind, with an asking price of approximately $9,000. These figures have become the stuff of legends in the LEGO collector community. Over the years, the LEGO booth at the San Diego Comic-Con has given away numerous rare Legos, but it's these four superhero figures that truly take the cake for being the rarest and most expensive Lego prizes ever. That doesn't mean it isn't worth going to the annual Comic-Con, as they still give out super cool stuff every year. It just might not end up being as expensive as these minifigures. If you thought the last couple items were possibly the rarest Lego items in existence, you would be mistaken. This might be one of the rarest Lego pieces ever, and considering you had to be pretty lucky to win some of the previous items, you would have to be a lot more than lucky to get one of these. This is a 14 karat golden brick that sold for around $20,000, and all it is is a singular 2x4 Lego brick. What sets this 14 karat gold Lego brick apart from anything else is that you can't buy it by any traditional means. Lego, the iconic toy company we all love, keeps these bricks for a very special milestone. It's high-ranking employees who have spent a quarter of a century working at Lego. Yes, you heard me right. 25 years of hard work, and your reward is this one-of-a-kind golden Lego brick. It's rumored that only around 10 employees have ever gotten one of these ultra-rare bricks, and the few that have left the hands of their original recipients have sold for tens of thousands of dollars. I can only imagine the price will get higher as time goes on. Some of the rarest and most expensive Lego sets are the classic classics, and this is definitely seen in the vintage Castle set. Castle is a very old set from 1978, so finding it in a sealed and good condition would be difficult, meaning the value would be much higher than the estimated $10,000 price tag on the set. It's so rare that Brick Economy, one of the largest LEGO statistics platforms, says that they haven't seen a sale of the set in over two years. Following suit with many of the vintage LEGO sets, there isn't that much to see detail-wise while looking at it. It features a yellow castle with 16 different characters, each 
individually selling for $50 to $100. And considering the small piece count of just $7.75, that means you're paying upwards of $13 per piece. I'm not really sure I would sell out tens of thousands for this set, but hey, maybe collecting vintage Lego sets is your thing. Next up, we have a promotional set from all the way back in 2001. The Coca-Cola Eye Fountain was supposed to be a modular soda fountain produced by the Coca-Cola company, but it inevitably ended up failing. Before that happened though, Coca-Cola partnered with Lego to give this 142 piece set out to employees that worked on the project. Although this is much less rare, the set is similar to the 14 karat gold brick as its rarity comes from the fact that you could not purchase it in any retail location. You can only obtain one of these small sets by being an employee of the Eye Fountain project. And considering how short of a lifespan the Coca-Cola company gave this project, there are not bound to be many of these sets out in circulation. As it stands, there's such a small supply of this set that there isn't even a concrete price estimate to go off of. And there are so few records of resale for these sets that nobody really knows what they might go for. However, in the right condition, there's a chance you can net thousands of dollars by selling one of these ultra rare collaboration sets. In the end though, I'm not really sure why someone would take the time to hunt one of these down considering how lackluster it is for the price. Let's take a minute and jump back to Star Wars collectibles with the limited edition Chrome Star Wars minifigures. Just like Mr. Gold, these minifigures could only be found by chance in certain 30th anniversary Star Wars Lego sets, meaning that you had to get one by sheer luck. Not to mention between the hundreds of thousands of Star Wars Lego sets sold, there were only 10,000 of each figure available at a time. While the Chrome Gold C-3PO is the crown jewel of these minifigures, the others in the series are a bit more kind to your wallet. The Chrome Darth Vader would set you back a price of around $600, and the Chrome Stormtrooper would cost you roughly $250. With just $10,000 of each minifigure available within the vast array of Star Wars collectibles, there's no doubt why these minifigures can ask for such high prices, as with their rarity comes attention from Star Wars fans and LEGO collectors alike. Many of the sets so far aren't retailing in stores anymore, meaning the price often comes from aftermarket price raises. For now, let's go over some of the most expensive sets you can still buy today. The LEGO Tech sets are definitely a spectacle when it comes to complexity and size. Oh yeah, and also price. This Lego Technic Lamborghini Sean, yes, that's how it's pronounced, costs about $450 at the moment and is an extremely technical build. Like many of the larger Technic sets, the Sean boasts a piece count of 4,000, and I mean, just look at it. I think even a Lego master builder might have a tough time building this one. It features a scale ratio of 1 to 8. The set has opening doors to an accurate engine bay, and not to mention it's almost 2 feet long. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, your wallet definitely won't like this next LEGO Technic set either, the LEGO Technic Liber LR13000 Crane. While it wouldn't be my front runner choice over a Lamborghini, this set might just be one of the biggest LEGO Technic sets there is. This set is much bigger than the previous Lambo, as it's 38 inches tall, that's just barely shy of a meter. Unfortunately, with the size, the set has a price to match it, retailing at $700. I cannot imagine paying that much for a LEGO set. This set is a scale model of one of the world's biggest and most powerful cranes and I bet you can guess the name, it's the Liber LR13000. In real life, this crane is used to construct literal power plants where it needs to lift concrete walls that weigh 3 million pounds. Yes, you heard that right. The LEGO version is just as technical as the real one as it features ballasts, counterweights, and hydraulics, meaning it might be one of the most technically complex LEGO sets of all time. Overall, I think it's incredible how accurate modern LEGO Technic sets can get to the real thing when it comes to function, and I think it might even justify the absurd prices. If you thought the last set was big, then this next set will blow your socks off. The next set is not a LEGO Technic set, but it might as well be, considering its absurd piece count, clocking in at 10,001 total pieces and standing at almost 5 feet tall. The LEGO Eiffel Tower is part of the LEGO Icon series, and is the second biggest set ever by piece count, and the tallest LEGO set ever made. Ironically, this LEGO set is one of the most accurate model depictions of the current day Eiffel Tower, but it doesn't come cheap. This set costs a staggering 600 $170. Even if you shelled out the hundreds of dollars to purchase it, you might have a difficult time finding a place for it in your home, considering its gargantuan size. Next up, we have another special item, and it's looking like if you want to get your hands on a super rare Lego piece, then showing up to Comic-Con might be the way to go. This is a 1 of 100 exclusive Tahu mask from the Bionicle series that you could only get by having a special invite to the Lego panel at the Comic-Con event. After the forum ended at Comic-Con, these special invites were given these pieces at an exclusive after hour Lego event that was held at a Lego store in New York. The Tahu mask is made of clear plastic and is only one piece, but you better hope that you kept yours in the box if you were lucky enough to attend this event. If your box is authenticated and shows which piece out of 100 the mask is, it could sell for upwards of $16,000. That's enough for a new Rolex with some change to 
spare too. It's extremely difficult to get your hands on one of these masks though, as you had to have been very well connected in the LEGO collectors community to receive an invite to the special event. Meaning that no matter the value, many of the prestigious collectors that received these masks simply just held on to them. Okay, you would think this is just a regular LEGO animal worth nothing more than a few bucks. However, this particular spotted LEGO goat is quite the celebrity. It made its sole appearance in a single LEGO set, and what's even more mind-boggling is that since the release of this LEGO Kingdom set, no other goat has graced the LEGO world, except for this Minecraft one. It's almost as if the higher-ups at LEGO have gone out of their way to make sure that there is never another goat in a LEGO set ever again. There actually was a moment when it seemed like LEGO had a change of heart and was ready to add another goat into their sets in 2021 though. The Medieval Blacksmith set was set to include a few more goats, raising hopes for the LEGO community that they might finally get another goat for less than $90. But just before it hit the shelves, for some reason, LEGO decided to remove them from the set, leaving fans very confused. Nobody really knows why the goat hasn't returned in any more sets, but maybe the executives at LEGO just don't like goats. Whatever the reason is, this LEGO goat's exclusivity and rarity make it a coveted piece among collectors and enthusiasts alike. Last but definitely not least, we have the most expensive LEGO piece ever. Back in 2017, Warner Bros. teamed up with LEGO to produce the LEGO Ninjago movie. But what collectors didn't know is that because of this movie, we would get the most exclusive and expensive LEGO minifigure of all time. I'm talking about the Wooden Woo minifig. Only four of these were ever made, and the price estimates put a verified and legitimate Wooden Woo at a staggering $100,000. That amount of money could be life-changing for someone. You could even get a down payment on a house. The figure was originally seen posted by Simon Lucas, the head creative director at LEGO, saying that he might have the rarest LEGO minifigure ever. After the movie was finished, nobody officially knows what happened to the other three minifigs. However, one of them made it into aftermarkets to auction, where it would sell for $100,000. Now, there are a few other reasons why this figure is so expensive. One of them being that it was held by Jackie Chan during the movie. And considering he's the second highest paid actor in the world, I'd imagine that could add some value to the figure. There were other minifigures used as props, like Scratched Up Lloyd, but just like the other three wooden woos, nobody knows if they made it off the movie set or not. Let me know what your favorite item was in this video, and don't forget to subscribe.